Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. My name's Blake Cousins. Today, we're here with Joe Kiernan. You've seen him before right here on Third Phase of Moon. He sent us video from South Carolina in regards to UFOs, and he has another one that he's gonna share with us right now. Thanks for joining us here at Third Phase of Moon, Joe. Thank you, Blake, a pleasure to be here, thank you. You know, Joe, we're looking at this video and we slowed things down and zoomed it up, and we're looking at it very close, and you know, sun flares or glares, they don't leave splashes in the water, right? You know, it is incredible. Uh, at first, it did look like a lens flare. Uh, we're still looking into it. I, I've sent it to, out to a few people. Uh, it, it's the few motions it takes. Uh, it does resemble the lens flare, but uh, there are key ingredients as to when it re-enters the water, it makes a splash and uh, it, it goes away from the camera when it, when it should be following. So it, it's something I'd really like someone to really take a good look into and see what we're working with here. You say this pond is strange in a way that it's absolutely clear, unlike any other ponds in the area. And you, you say that there's no life of any kind. Are you gonna get universities to test the water and you know some kind of an analysis of it? Uh, we're looking into a few key people that we could send it to. Uh, I'd like to take this one very serious. Um, my interest is to really see what it is. Uh, I'm not going to jump to any conclusions. Uh, there are uh, a lot of coincidences in the case, but it's, it's time I, I really would like to find possibly a local university that would be willing to test the water and take a good look at the footage. It's just been probably less than a year that you were a skeptic and now you're a full-on believer in capturing amazing UFOs in South Carolina. What do you think's actually going on over there? You know, we, we're, we're not too certain on what's going on. What, what I am certain on is that it does happen three or four times a week. They are traveling the majority of the time on a north to south direction. They travel in groups of four to six. While they're over land, they're flashing a brilliant white light uh, and a completely different uh, pace of flashes than any plane you'll ever see. They're very intense, bright white lights. Uh, when they do get over bodies of water, they will glow bright orange and then they'll fade out for a little while and, and then they'll travel the, in the opposite direction in which they came. Uh, they appear to be lighting up uh, somewhere where the, where the Atlantic Ocean is meeting the intercoastal waterway on the north end of South Carolina and down near the Merle's Inlet area right before Georgetown. That's where the, the intercoastal will enter in and out of the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, right in the inlet areas to the north and the south seem to be an incredibly hot spot for these glowing orange lights. For the reasons in which they travel there and glow orange in that ex exact spot, I still haven't quite figured out. But if you're looking for the orange lights, that's a good spot to start. Joe, I really want to thank you for sharing your footage. And if you catch any more, you keep us informed, okay? Yes, thank you, Blake. I'll keep you posted week to week, day to day. As progress increases, you're my man. I appreciate it. You guys are doing a great thing for me. Thank you so much. Thanks again, Joe. And if anybody out there has captured anything amazing on their cameras in regards to UFOs, contact us at Third Phase of Moon via Skype or Facebook. My name's Blake Cousins, and we'll see you again next time.